Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. We will take one more example, barium chloride plus potassium sulphate is equal to barium sulphate plus potassium chloride. So we have barium chloride plus potassium sulphate that gives, sorry, potassium chloride plus barium sulphate. This is my formula. I have to balance this now. So here we have uh, any compound, yes, sulphur. That's my first priority. Then we have barium and potassium, right? And then we have chloride. So let's balance this. So we have, we'll check that sulphate part. If you see, is in both cases, we have one, one, it's balanced. Barium part is again one, one, balanced. One here, one here. Potassium part is 2 here and 1 here, so let's multiply this guy with 2. So what you get here is barium chloride plus K2SO4 is equal to 2KCl plus BS. So now let's see the uh, equations. Sulfate part you have 1 here, 1 here, balanced. Barium part we have 1 here, 1 here, balanced. Potassium we have 2 here, 2 here, balanced. Chlorine part we have two here and two here balanced. So if it is a balanced equation, then that is my answer. There is a calcium hydroxide that is COOH2, carbon dioxide CO2 gives calcium carbonate CaCO3 plus water. Let's again balance this. So OH part is here, here, no, it's not there. So there is no compound kind of stuff here. So we'll first Take calcium, then carbon, then hydrogen oxide. Correct, makes sense. So we'll see the calcium part. Calcium part is one here, one here, balanced. Carbon part one here, one, one here, balanced. Hydrogen part two here, two here, balanced. Oxygen part two here plus two, four here, and here we have three plus one, four. So both are balanced. If you see that, this is a balanced equation itself. You don't need to balance. What equation you got is a balanced equation. Zinc plus silver nitrate gives you zinc nitrate plus silver. So if you see there is an NO3 part here. So first part will say NO3. Then metals we have zinc and silver. This is the order of my priority. We'll check first. This guy has one nitrate. This guy has two nitrates. We'll multiply this guy with two, right? So what you get is zinc plus two AgNO3 gives ZnNO3 two plus silver. Now let's again check. This is nitrate, silver, and zinc. Nitrate we have two here, two here. Done, done deal. Silver we have two here, one here, right? It is not balanced. Let's multiply with two. So what you get is zinc plus 2 AgNO3 gives zinc nitrate plus 2 silver. Let's again see the count. So nitrate, silver and zinc. Nitrate is 2 here, 2 here, balance. Silver is 2 here, 2 here, balance. Zinc is 1 here, 1 here, balanced, right? So we see it's all balanced. <coughs> Thus I can see that. This is my balanced chemical equation. Simple questions only, we have aluminium plus copper chloride, you should know the formula, that's all, so UCL2 gives aluminium chloride, AlCl3 plus copper, that is C. Let's balance this. So, if you see this guy has, uh, we have metals such as aluminium, copper, and then we have chloride as non metal This is my order of priority, correct? So let's check the aluminium part. Aluminium is 1, 1 here balanced. Right? Copper is 1, 1 here balanced. Chlorine is 2 here and there is 3. So what I can do is I can multiply this guy by 3 by 2. So what you get here is aluminium plus 3 by 2 copper chloride. Aluminium chloride plus copper. So now if you see my equation, 
एलमोनियम इज वन वन बोथ साइड वन कॉपर इज थ्री बाई टू हेयर एंड वन हेयर सो विल मल्टीप्लाई थ्री बाई टू हेयर राइट थ्री बाई टू इन वन सो मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाई थ्री बाई टू सो नाउ वॉट यू गेट इज एलमोनियम प्लस थ्री बाई टू कॉपर क्लोराइड गिवस एलमोनियम क्लोराइड प्लस थ्री बाई टू कॉपर नॉ लेट्स अगेन चेक द वैल्यूज एलमोनियम कॉपर एंड क्लोराइड सी सो एलमोनियम एयर इज वन एयर इज वन बैलेंस्ड कॉपर इज थ्री बाई टू थ्री बाई टू बैलेंस्ड क्लोरिन हेयर इज थ्री थ्री बाई टू इंटू टू थ्री हेयर वी हैव थ्री इट्स ऑल बैलेंस बैलेंस्ड बट इज इन द फ्रैक्शन सो द डिनोमीटर इज टू हेयर सो विल मल्टीप्लाई विथ टू वट यू गेट इज टू एलमोनियम प्लस थ्री कॉपर क्लोराइड गिवस एलमोनियम क्लोराइड प्लस थ्री कॉपर एंड दैट इज माइंड इजी ओली Let's take one more example. Write a balanced chemical equation with state symbol for the following equation. Here we have to get the state symbol also. Sodium hydroxide in water. That is NaOH in water. Reacts with hydrochloric acid. That is HCl as a liquid to give. Sodium chloride solution. So sodium chloride solution is nothing but aqueous solution in the water plus water. Correct. So this is my equation. And if you see this, the already balanced equation. Sodium is one both side. Oxygen is one both side. Hydrogen is two both side, chlorine one. This is already a balanced equation, and that is my answer. The extra thing is that we have to write the states here. So, sodium hydroxide it was a liquid. Then uh, we have this hydrochloric acid. We have we got sodium chloride, NaCl in water is aqueous solution because the water the NaCl is dissolved in water, and we got water. Here also we write with symbols. Barium chloride, that is BaCl2, that's aqueous solution. Plus sodium sulfate, Na2SO4, that's again a solution. That is a, is a solid actually. Sodium sulfate is a solid thing. Reacts with uh, in water. Sodium sulfate is a solid thing in water. <coughs> so you can say it's an aqueous thing actually because sodium sulfate is in water. So it's aqueous. to gives a insoluble barium sulfate so you get barium sulfate that is a solid because it's insoluble plus sodium chloride and a cl correct so we have this barium chloride aqueous solution then we have sodium sulfate is solid actually and that is put in water but it's, it's solid so you can make it solid only gives a barium sulfate that is again solid In solution in water, and solution of sodium chloride. So that's what we get. So if you see that it's an unbalanced equation, we can just balance it. So here we see that SO four is there. First priority, then we can take sodium and barium, and then we can take chlorine part. SO four one here, one here already balanced. Sodium two here, one here not balanced. So we'll balance this by multiplying it by two. So let's see the equation now. The equation is BaCl2 aqueous with Na2SO4 is again solid. Gives BaSO4 solid plus 2 NaCl. That's aqueous. Now again, see if it is balanced or not. We have SO4, Na, Ba, and Cl. Sulfate is one here, one here balanced. Sodium is two here, two here balanced. Barium is one here, one here balanced. Chlorine is two here and two here balanced, right? So it's a balanced chemical equation, and that is my answer. So once we are done with uh, balancing of chemical equation, what we know what the chemical equation is, and we also know that the chemical equation has to be balanced, right? And we know how to balance the chemical equation. We had done. Thank you.
visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.